Hello everyone, gather around, take a seat. I'm here to deliver you a wonderful treat. This is a story of a man as stubborn as they come, hatred in his heart as loud as a drum, a distaste of all things with wheels past three. He sure does sound a lot like a Scrooge to me. Our story takes place one December evening when our Scrooge has a most peculiar meeting. Ugh, I'm so sick of these quads. I don't get what's the big deal about these things anyways. It's just a trike with an extra wheel. Why fix what ain't broke? Finally, I can take a break from building these clunky things. Ugh, I hate working on these quads. I don't see the purpose of them. I could buy a dirt bike for the price of one quad. Like it's made out of bike parts and you can't even pedal. The not a wheelchair just doesn't make sense. Wait, where am I? Why am I building these things in my sleep too? These abominations will just not leave me alone. Hello, Scrooge. Your hatred for quads has disrupted the balance in the recumbent universe, and I have come to teach you of all the wonders of all the things quads. What? What does that mean? What is the recumbent universe? That's not important, Scrooge. What is important is I'm the ghost of Quadsmas past, and it is my duty to help you understand the role quads play in our timeline. If you know so much about quad past, why do we make these things? I'm glad you asked. This is where it all started. What do you mean? Where are we? Shh, look, it's Ashley God. The owner of Utah Trikes would ride his bike every day, and with carpal tunnel, it became a painful routine that he had to endure. He began looking for alternatives to no avail, but how do you find something so outlandish in such a time as this? But lo and behold, he came upon a particular machine, the recumbent tricycle. His first trike was not ideal. It being a new development in the cycling world, he was not satisfied with the way it performed. This turn of events pushed him to innovate and customize his trike, leading to what we now call Utah Trikes. So what does this have to do with quads? Well, let's go to a more familiar place and see where this chain of events takes us. Regarding your question, as Utah trikes grew, there was more innovation. And with more innovation, there came a desire for more, more traction, more storage, more stability, and more recognizable look. After all, we are more uh, accustomed to things with four wheels. Like sure, you have all that, but there's still a whole list of downsides. Like quad conversion means bigger size, not to mention how much heavier they get, and they're just flat out more expensive. Is the extra money really justified here? You're not wrong. There are pros and cons to both trikes and quads. It all depends on what you're looking for in your recumbent vehicle. A quad, overall a better off-road vehicle. It has more traction with its four wheels. It's able to straddle obstacles. And with extra stability, you're able to go over these obstacles much easier. And regarding your price point, consider it this way. A quad can go anywhere a trike can, but a trike can't go everywhere a quad can. That makes sense, but why are they all so different and complicated? When putting these things together, it's always so many extra steps and I just don't get it. Well, you see, all of our quads are custom. We either build them ourselves as a part of the UT custom line, or we convert trikes into quads. All these conversions require lots of custom parts, and custom parts need a place to be made. Thus, the fabrication shop was made to create these custom parts that we need. It gets a little complicated because every trike is different. So every conversion is different, and we need a variety of different parts to accommodate. With the fabrication shop up and running, we were able to start testing our own easier designs for the future. Yeah, that is good and all. I guess I have never seen a bike shop with a whole fabrication operation. 
Ah, I see you've accepted your past. Now it's time for you to face your present. Wait, if quads all function the same, why do we have so many different kinds? Great question, but there's someone that can answer better than I. Hey, did Pass just leave you out here? Okay, come with me. All right. I mean, you can probably guess what we're doing here already. Oh, you're cold. Let's go inside. I am so sorry you got cold. I don't remember what that's like. Here's something to keep you warm. It's been fun, but why are we back at work? Well, I am the ghost of Quasim's present. I know you were asking my friend in the past a bunch of different questions, and what better way to get those questions answered than in the present? Let's go. We made it. What, well, is, is that me? Yeah. We are in the present, so of course you're here. I look so frustrated. The present, why do we make so many different types of quads? Don't they all serve the same purpose? Well, how about I answer that question with another question, Scrooge boy. Why does Utah trike so, ma so many different types of trikes and models? Don't they all serve the same purpose? Well, well that's different because each trike has small differences and it just depends on what type of riding you're going to be doing. Precisely. Every type of quad has its different purpose. Take the Eagle Quad, for example. It doesn't have as many features, but it's still an adjustable and great entry quad for the budget rider. Its greatest strength is that it's easily upgradable. You get a solid EcoTad base for further customization, however you see fit. What about all the other quad conversions we've done? What purpose could they possibly serve other than the Eco Quad? Well, we've done a lot of conversions, but our most common conversion is the Cat 4 on our villager frames. These ones are the middle ground for pricing and provide a well-rounded quad experience. Built off of stock Cat Trike frames, it has all the quality and strengths of a Cat Trike, just with some extra stability and traction. You can even add a large rear cargo rack behind the seat, now that there is space between the two tires to mount it. Its off-road capability can even be improved further by adjusting its wheel setup to reflect the fat Cat 4 which takes the standard 20-inch wheels and replaces them for the 26 by 4 inch fat wheels, allowing for even more traction, stability, and ground clearance for all of your rougher rides. Okay, okay. I just don't think they look as good as their trike counterparts. Shut up for a second and take a look at this. Behold, our hot rod fat cat quad. You've probably seen this bad boy before in your dreams. But this one is built off of the Expedition frame, a clearly reliable foundation. It has two 26-inch rear wheels paired with the two 20-inch tires in front for a polished and functional sported quad look. This is all the benefits of road riding and off-road while looking super cool and super sleek. Sure, they've got all that, but one thing I've noticed, there's no suspension. What's up with that? Our quad conversions have always had a rough time working with suspension because of the extreme lateral forces applied to the rear shock by the rear wheels. Building a quad frame to work around pre-existing suspension is too time consuming and just leads to subpar performance. On a regular trike, the weight is not distributed towards the ground as linearly as on a bike, so the back wheel is already under some stress. When you upgrade to a quad rear end, the slack in the rear suspension on a turn adds more lateral strain to the spokes of the wheels, making them more prone to fail. Because of this, we have the E-Quad. Our quad was designed and fabricated in-house with suspension in mind. Built to handle more weight and with dual rear shocks, it allows for a sturdy and durable suspension on your quad. And with it being its own platform and not a modification, it's allowed for tons of quality of life improvements, more than just suspension. Fabricating our own frame allows for more customization and adaptability to each individual rider, 
We are able to add more storage space to the cargo rack, swap the seat with a more comfortable recumbent seat, or even add a full lighting crit integrated with the pedal assist motor system. Some of these don't even have pedals. Why would you want a recumbent quad without them? You must be thinking of the Nada wheelchair, which is based on our E-Quad model. We took the design of the E-Quad frame and made it solely powered by a hub motor with reverse function. We replaced the pedals with footholds, removed the need for a derailleur and gearing, and created a universally accessible ride. And in answer to your second question, this quad was designed with people who aren't able to pedal in mind. It is nearly impossible to get anywhere off of the paved path when one is dependent on a wheelchair for mobility, and any off-road wheelchairs would cost a small fortune. So by creating a platform that uses readily available e-bike parts to power it, we are able to bring the excitement of outdoor exploration to anyone. And even though it may be designed for those with a mobility, it can be enjoyed by anybody who loves to just get out and explore. Frankly, I'm a little bit disappointed that you weren't aware of the difference. You really seem to have everything all figured out here, huh? Well, you bet your butt we do. We're Utah trikes. What do you expect? Uh, probably some trikes, not a new frame with well thought out suspension for a quad. We've been over this already. All right, whatever. I think it's time you mean the man himself, Mr. Future. Present. Present, where are you? Present. Present, where are you? Present? Not present. It's me, Future. I told Present to introduce you to me when he sent you here. I guess he forgot. Well, anyway, welcome to your quad future, stubborn one. What is this supposed to tell me about quads? That their future is bleak? This doesn't really support your argument. Uh, not quite. Uh, follow me. I'll show you why you're here. Now this is the future of quads. As we moved forward, our endeavors expanded and we developed even more, including our relationship with Nauta Wheelchair. Wait, we're still expanding on the Nauta Wheelchair? Where else can you go with that idea? Well, believe it or not, you can expand a lot off of that idea. We've worked together with Zach from Jerry Rig Everything to enhance the Nauta Wheelchair line of quads and expand it in several ways. One of our biggest projects has been to create a four-wheel drive quad. We have based our design on the Nauta Wheelchair quad. With the advancements in e-bike motor technology, we are able to convert the standard rig to four-wheel drive. We have custom mag wheels built that have a hub motor in each wheel, allowing for an all-wheel drive wheelchair experience like no other. Wait, we end up making a whole four-wheel drive quad? Who's this for? It's for the people who want to get out and go off-road where they usually can, obviously. The four-wheel drive allows for an all-around riding experience with its four strong motors you can get up hills and through loose off-road terrain fast and effortlessly. Huh, yeah, that makes sense. It's cool that we've been able to expand upon our accessibility throughout the years. You know it. And along with increasing accessibility, we have also introduced a child-sized Nauta wheelchair. As you probably know, a regular sized Nauta wheelchair can be adjusted a fair amount for smaller riders, but this little guy is built specifically for our smaller riders, allowing for an easier and accessible ride for all sizes of people. Lots of people have been asking for this one. Wait, what's that over there? <clears throat> Dang, this thing is sweet. Oh, this thing? <laughs> this is our new social tandem quad. I never knew we would make our own. Out of all the quads we make, this tandem is the one I understand the most. It's hard to make a side-by-side -side tandem with just three wheels, and this tandem is a worthy receiver of the four-wheel treatment. Yes, exactly. I'm so glad you understand this. Our old tandem quad just wasn't up to our standards, and we wanted to produce a more functional and modular design for our social tandem, pushing us to fabricate this model here in-house. It's based on our E-quad frame, and functionally places two of them together side-by-side. 
it's a faster and more ergonomic way to ride tandem than our previous options. I'm glad. The old one kind of left more to be desired, and these improvements are very welcome. Also, how far in the future did it take for us to get these things out? Like, how far in the future are we right now? Oh, for the child size not a wheelchair, that's like a month or two out from your present. We've been kind of hauling production on these since like the day after this whole ordeal. So you better learn how to start liking these quads fast. At this point, I really think I have. I think I've started- Wait, 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 wait. I want all the guys to be here for this. Wait, he's actually coming around? Well, yeah. Like I was saying, you guys have shown me that quads are just as cool as trikes. And that at Utah Trikes, we make more than just three-wheeled machines. We also make sweet quads. They fulfill different needs than trikes do. And at Utah Trikes, we want to have an option for anybody's situation. I finally see where quads fit into that mission. I'm glad to see you've come around, my boy. We've been rooting for you this entire time. And we actually have a present for you. Wow, thanks. I really cherish this present for the rest of my quad-loving life. All right, uh, we've got to send you back now. You've overslept your lunch break by about 35 minutes, and if we don't send you back now, there's going to be a harsh talking to in your future. Well, guys, looks like our job here is done. How about some pizza? Yeah, I've got a coupon. All right, let's go. As he returned to his quad creation, he thought of his dream inspiration. The ghost had done well to change his mind. He saw now that he was truly blind. He vowed to never take quads for granted after such hate had been recanted. He carried out his tasks with joy and delight, thinking to himself, Merry Quadsmas to all and to all a good night. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Quadsmas! We actually have a present! <laughs> <laughs> For you! <laughs> Doesn't work that way. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. And then we give the camera a thumbs up. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not present. It's me. Future. <laughs> yeah, it'll actually do a little... It'll... That's not important right now, Scrooge. What is important is I'm the ghost of Quadsmith's past, and it is my duty to tell... <laughs> Very Quadsmith to all, and to all a good night. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Quadsmith! <laughs> <laughs>